What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the Laravel's view composures to bind data into a view and then make it reusable throughout the application. To explain the basic concept, we tell Laravel that we have a view which we need to bind with this particular class which provides the data to the view. Once that binding is done, we are pretty much independent or we are free to use that particular view anywhere in the application and we don't have to pass that data to that view through any controller. It will automatically fetch it. I'm going to use an application which I've already been working on and it will help me demonstrate the requirement. It's a basic application where there are some user roles, login management, typical things and you can see I'm using the uh, famous adminality theme um, and this is the user listing which I'm going to work on today I'm going to make this user listing pretty much independent so that you know I can use this anywhere in the application so to bind the data of this view through the application we need to make some changes uh, by the way if you want to check out the source or you can fork my basic code on this particular github URL and this is the code structure let me go quickly over it i have a folder called wall where all the code is residing apart from the laravel code in the app folder i have its own repositories listeners everything which helps me basically update the code in any other application which is being used so i'll just copy paste the wall folder and it will ensure that all the recent code changes are there as you can see I have repositories, listeners, providers, everything inside it and all of the service providers are binded in the app.php file. If I scroll down here, you will see these are the four service providers which are being used by my application right now. Now the first thing which I will do, create the service provider which is going to be used to bind the composure with the view. Now what I will do is inside the providers, I will create a file called, first let me namespace it, it will be app wall providers and let's give it a name composer service provider let me copy the file name this is the class name as well i have to extend the service provider class which is eliminate support service provider and then we need to write two functions one is the boot and the second one is register now most of the code which we are going to write or rather the only place where we are going to write our code is the boot function so how do we register that we have to go into the app.php file go into the service providers array and there i will make the change so now we are loading the service provider which we have just created and time to bind the class so first thing is let me give you an example so this is my user controller and this is the function get user list where i am passing dollar users as you can see it's an eloquent query to the database and i am passing it to the user dash list view which is this scroll down and you will see the for each loop right so this is where all the data is being displayed and the controller is passing the data which is fine i mean the view is getting the data everything is okay but now i want to abstract it so what we will have to do you know if you have seen my repositories tutorial you will understand inside my app wall let me first go to the http view composers is the folder name which i'll create and inside that let me create a class user list composer all right this is the class which is going to pass the data to the view whenever we are telling Laravel to render that particular view. So clean up namespace, wall, it should be HTTP, the folder name which in our case is view composer, right? The class name will be user list composer and we don't need to extend anything in this particular class. But obviously we need to create one function called composer or rather compose which will automatically get view as the argument all right the view is basically illuminate contracts view okay and 
this function is the one which is going to be triggered whenever the view is rendered you know, whatever function uh, whatever data this function provides will be used so dollar user we need to pass this data but as you can see we are not using repositories which is bad so inside repositories I have the user repository what I'll do is in the interface I'll add one more function called all right and so the function name is user list and we need to implement this function because we are implementing the repository so yes in our eloquent user we will implement the function oh I see my dog blocker module is not working right now so things are looking a little bad but let me document it a bit the basic steps helps me out later on when I'm just going quickly through the code so get the user lists with pagination now for the code what I'll do is I'll have to return the list of data so this model all right with the roles obviously we need the roles because we're displaying the roles and I'll do a paginate okay I'm keeping it 10 but I know I have only five users so later on I will reduce the count and I will show you the pagination functionality as well but for now it's okay so user controller should be devoid of any code which is passing the data but user list composer is some where we have to pass this data right so in the constructor I'll call the repository so we will do user repository dollar user okay I need dollar user as a variable so let me do that should be a private one private dollar user inside the constructor I will do dollar this user equals dollar user usual stuff nothing new and yeah so now we have the functions available so we will say dollar users which is the list of all the users equals this user the function name which we have created dollar user list all right and then this is the syntax the dollar view with the name of the field or the array and then the data itself like we do in a typical view when we pass the data through a controller right we do dollar view I mean return view the view name with and then the key and value so this is something which we are doing in the class in the boot we have to register so the first thing is the view the actual view path okay so settings theme folder it's a custom function which I have created um, but I'll tell you in a bit so I'll go into the theme folder directly which is admin underscore LTE okay and so if you see settings is a function which is basically using the settings module the package which is a JSON file which we can use to define different settings in our application the theme folder is basically admin LTE okay so I'll get resources uh, you know uh, the theme folder and then I'm doing admin LTE slash um, it will be where oh, I have not created the view but uh, let's say we will put it inside compose views and inside that we will have compose dash user dash list okay so this is the view the first argument to view composer and the second is which class to call which will be in our case app slash wall slash HTTP slash the view composer folder and then our class name which is let me copy it up user list composer right alrighty so 
with that done let me insert the use in this case we are not going to use the contract but rather the support facades view because we are dealing with the view uh, helper facade and not the contract okay so with that done it's time to actually create the file right I mean we have just mentioned it but we have not created it as of now so resources views inside that I have the admin LT folder the theme folder inside that I have composed views and then my blade file all right now this is going to be simple we have the blade file we have mentioned it here and we know which class to load to get the data fine so the application is loading properly so far so good the service provider as far as I know is getting loaded yes it is I'm getting the die and dump so service provider is okay we have the view but as you can see the data is still there right because in our controller we are still passing the data now it's time to first of all get the markup so I'll copy it from here okay cut this in our blade we will paste it you know we have dollar users here obviously and I will include the view file so include and then let me copy it or rather okay I will type it out settings theme folder okay I have it already so it becomes easy for me to type the first field so theme folder then I have compose underscore views right slash compose user dash list oh listing rather okay so we have the first error sometimes becomes easy or gives me the confidence when I get at least one error it tells you that something is working <laughs> so let me see where is the problem oh I got it so it was compose and not composer and that's the reason I'm getting the error isn't it no it's not okay so now it says call to a member function user list which is strange um, here this user is correct I'm getting the repository this is also fine where is it breaking okay I finally got it so it's a typo basically I wrote constructor instead of construct and that created the problem if I refresh construct right yeah so yeah um, some hinting issue I think the colors are not matching on my sublime going a bit haywire but yeah we are loading the view so as you can see um, we have removed the view from the user dash list let me remove the data as well okay so in the controller we are just loading the user dash list view okay the user dash list view is basically including the you know the partial view which we have just created which is user list listing sorry and this user listing is looping through dollar users which we have not provided but it is coming from the service provider right this is the service provider which is giving it the data by the mapping saying this view gets the data from this particular class which is our composer class now to demonstrate I will add a footer what happened my emit is also not working the Zen coding has gone for a toss as well okay I'll do it manually so I have div body I'll add oh boy <laughs> long time I have not typed like that so div um, class the class will be box footer as far as I remember and inside that 
because I have dollar users, I can do dollar users render and it will render the pagination. Nothing will come right now, obviously, because I have five users and the query is for 10. Let it be two. And now we're loading two users per page and we have three pages. So as you can see, we have right now binded the view with a pagination and other functionalities without even calling any function in our con in our controller. So yeah, basically I can include that view in any part of my application and it will allow me to, you know, like if I put it on my dashboard, I don't need to write an additional query and get the user list. I can just display in this block. It will help me structure my code better and reuse components so that you know uh, they are scalable so any any piece of um, you know content which you see in your application that is dependent on a f on a set of you know data points which is going to be required you can architect your application in a way so that the views are rendered with the particular data if they are usable and that will help you um, you know uh, make your controllers thin and divide the responsibility thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel